Although the term living fossil is not usually a compliment when directed at you or me, it is a thing of beauty when it refers to the magnificent cycad. Cycads have remained unchanged for over 300 million years, and a single plant can live for more than a thousand years. Like most survivors, they are well adapted to hardship. They need little water, few nutrients, and can tolerate everything from intense desert heat to damp rainforests. These are plants that have survived the ice ages, comets hitting the earth, rampaging dinosaurs. Uh, they have these fabulous coralloid roots that allow them to breathe nitrogen from the atmosphere so they were able to survive on earth when little else was able to. And the neat thing, you put one of these in your backyard and you are part of a worldwide endangered species preservation movement. Cycads have necessarily adapted to environments where nothing else can survive. Being slow growers, they've been crowded out of their choice digs by plants that are more aggressive. This makes them rare and so valuable that they are often torn from the forest or stolen from collectors. In turn, connoisseurs pay big bucks for even the smallest seedlings. But Maurice is trying to change all that. Here's the whole idea. We believe in preservation through propagation. The more we do with growing, pollinating and propagating and getting seeds and plants and seedlings into people's gardens, the more we're doing to preserve the species. Cycads may look like palms, but they are genetically closer to pine trees, and they reproduce by cones. But it's all in the timing. Now, the neat thing that we've been able to do is work with a number of botanical gardens and private growers who have these mature plants and match up male cones that have pollen with female cones that have seed. And what happens is if you work hard and you time it just right, you can produce these massive Encephalardos cones. And this happens to be the seed of an Encephalardos Altensteinii, also known as the Eastern Cape Giant. That is one giant seed. To test for viability, Maurice floats the seeds, both with the pulp and without. Seeds that sink have a greater likelihood of sprouting. Maurice tucks these babies into a bed of perlite, where they stay snuggled up for six to 12 months. Some of the seeds here have actually germinated, and this is where we get excited because now you see a new endangered species life that's come out of this little embryonic package here. That's one radical root. Maurice uses a sterilizing mixture of rooting hormone and fungicide to get things off to a good start. Cycads have grown for hundreds of millions of years in Africa, so they are very comfortable with the pathogens in the soils of Africa, not so with our soils and water. So what we try to do is every step along the way, sterilize them. Check out how Maurice nestles the seed on top of the soil mix. This mimics how cycads grow in nature, and Mother Nature knows best. Fast forward six months, a few more years, a few more, and in 10 years, timeless beauty. Thinking something this rare must be difficult to grow? Remember, cycads have survived everything from volcanoes to droughts. They are really xerophytic. They can really handle very low water usage, so they're very environmentally friendly. These things have subsisted on the botanical equivalent of bread and water for hundreds of millions of years. You can bet that in your garden they're going to be happy. Just make sure you don't overwater them. There are only about 300 species of cycads that we know of, but they are amazingly varied. If you're thinking about making the Jurassic leap into owning a living fossil, a great place to start is with a sago palm. Sagos are readily available, tolerant of climate variations, and grow fairly rapidly. And Maurice has a few other suggestions. Let's talk about plants that are readily available and not that expensive. Diune spinulosum, the spiny leaf cycad from Mexico. Diune palmasola has a slightly uh, recurved and slightly veed shaped leaf. There's a wonderful shade tolerant plant from Australia called Lepidosamia parofskiana. Oh, I forgot the best one. Encephalardos leimanii, leiman cycad. It's called the Karoo Desert cycad. It and Encephalardos altensteinii, the Eastern Cape Giant, are the two best growing plants for California. The rarest cycad, and possibly the rarest plant in the entire world, is the Encephalardus woodii. Every existing woodii has been propagated from a single plant, the only one ever discovered in the wild. Besides propagating from seed, Maurice has another solution. This plant, with its offsets and everything, can be a rather expensive proposition for a collector to acquire. So we're going to show you how we can divide up a Diune Capitoy. We're going to cut very carefully and see if we can strike an offset here. 
Continually using a fungicide mixture avoids contaminating the new offset. This plant has its own taproot, so guess what? We're gonna try and rescue the little taproot that came along with this plant. Yes, a wonderful little plantlet here that has its own taproot. A quick dip in some fungicide rooting hormone, a few months in some perlite, a transfer into a larger pot, and there you have it. One more endangered species a step closer to eternal salvation. Every time that flush of new leaves comes out, you realize one more year of a plant that could potentially be something that you can give to your great-grandchildren that they can give to their great-grandchildren that will live for thousands of years on this earth and you will have preserved something very special, a voice from the past, a living fossil plant, very rare that you can grow in your own backyard.